What's up, guys? My name is MadSquash924. Welcome back to another episode of some Star Wars and Knights of the Old Republic. We are here near the Starforge. We're not at the Starforge just quite yet, but um, we kind of crash landed onto a planet. Um, what appears to be of unknown origin. We have, at least our crew and I, have no idea where the hell we are, other than the fact that there's a lot of crashed ships um, across this planet. However, um, I'm trying to figure out who we should bring first today. Um, according to this, we haven't brought Mission in a while, so we'll bring Mission Veo to start. And who else should we bring? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, hmm. Either Jalee or Juhani. I'm thinking. We can even bring Zalbar. We haven't brought Zalbar with us in quite some time, but I think I want to bring Candorus. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's level her up. So we got treat injury, some security, all the stuff she usually gets. Um, other than that, she's looking pretty good. I want to get her some implants, but I think Master Power, well, excuse me, Master Critical Strike would be very good for her. So we'll pick that up for her. Oh, her dexterity is very high, isn't it? Twenty-one. It's very good. You don't have gloves on. Why don't you have gloves on? Why is that, Candorus? I can give him the advanced stabilizer gauntlets. It'll raise his dex by three, which would be helpful. What's his max modifier? Two. He has one. That, that kind of sucks. Um. Okay, that does actually kind of suck. Now I'm looking at it. Uh. We could give him strength gauntlets, but that's not going to really help him either. What's the way for these? Resistances. Okay, let's give him the treat injury ones. And he has a sick-ass gun. His gun is fucking badass. Um, I would love to give mission implants, but I didn't really do that for her, you know? So, I'm not sure. What she got for strength plus two? What's the most she can have for a modifier? Five? Yeah, it's five. So we can't even give her any dex gloves either. Do we have anything higher than a two? No. I guess it is yes. what it is, I suppose. Uh, they're fine the way they are. That's okay. Had a check. I remember you. Um, we saw them in the, um, Rakatan, Rakatan Warriors, or Rakata, Rakatan, Rakatan, interesting, anyways, um, we saw their race, um, in like a prison box, did we not? I guess I thought we did, let's fuck them up. So far, so good. You have defeated the murderous animals. We thank you, human, for saving us. Um. Well, they just kind of attacked me, so I defended myself. Well, if your arrival had not been so fortuitously timed, we would have been in great danger. We thank you again for saving us. Um. What are you guys doing here? We had crashed here when our mining survey vessel encountered some strange sort of energy field. It disrupted our engine and power system and forced us to make a crash landing on this world. Our ship sank far out to sea, but a handful of us were able to make it to this island. More than you see here, though. And what happened to the rest of your companions? Well, many of us have been killed at the hands of the locals. If you tried to swim one of the closer islands, but 
We have not heard from them in many days. One of the ten of us who remained here, we two are the only remaining survivors. Ha. And what native creatures are here that killed the others? They, they, they attack any they come across. They are barbaric savages who feast upon the bodies of the dead. The only beings who crashed here that can hold them off are the Mandalorians, and we dare not go near them. We know of their depredations too well. Okay, that's interesting to know. So... There's Mandalorians that are here. Yes, they are. More than you might think, although that may just be because they aren't killed as easily as we are. With their weapons, they raid and kill other survivors and can fight off the natives as well. They seem to have some sort of invis invisibility or like cloaking shiva hides them until they strike. Ha. Huh. Do you know where they are? They are north of here by a large temple structure. We dare not approach it, for they would surely kill us. But we cannot delay here much longer. The longer we stay, the more likely either the Mandalorians or the natives will find us and kill us. Hmm. Interesting. Um, tell me what you know of the natives. We know little beyond that we have already told you. Savages who eat the dead and attack anyone on sight. If it were not for them, this world might almost be habitable. But we cannot delay here much longer. The longer we stay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Look, if it's that much... If it's that bad out there, you can stay in our ship if you really want to. No, we dare not. If we remain here, it'll only be a matter of time before the natives or the Mandalorians find us and kill us. Okay. Well, how about, um... You try getting to one of the other islands. I believe that would be the best choice. The others have not returned, but it may be because they find they could find no way to. It would be worth the risk, rather than stay here and face certain death. I thank you one last time, human, for saving us. We shall remember you and hope that you should escape. You will tell the Republic of those of us who stranded here. Ha! Huh. So based off of that, we know that there's Mandalorians here. And that these beings, once they kill their prey, eat the dead. Interesting. Okay, let's get them. So far, they don't seem all that tough, truth be told. Okay, so there's two paths. What's this, a part of a, like, a soup bike? Excuse me, not a soup bike, but like a pod racing bike? Kind of looks like it. I kind of think it's supposed to be an engine. So according to this... Oh, what the hell is over there? It's like... By the Ebon Hawk, but to the right. Is there anything over there? I kind of want to double check over in this path. Yeah, where the Doros came from. No, there's Giska, though. Oh, there's a Foot Locker. Huh. Who would have thought? I think I've played this game for a long time. I don't think I've ever realized that there was a Foot Locker there. The more you know. There we go. Exploration. Exploration is key. Okay, so I could go this way or I could go towards the temple. I kind of want to go towards the temple and take out the Mandalorians that are supposedly there. I think that's what I want to do. This is a dead end. Or what? It just overlooks everything? Okay. That's fine. Temple exterior.
Okay. Okay, um... There is Rakata and Elite Warriors. And there's Rancors here. That's just luxurious. Our damage output seems to be much better since we switched up everything, which is nice. Rancors. They are a lot smaller, for sure. Oh, jeez, I didn't realize Mission was almost dead. Sorry, Mission. Didn't know. Well, you could probably handle yourself. Rank horse. A lot of them. Let's do this, and then jump over. Great. I'm glad I canceled that on accident. Whoa! That was like 120 something damage. That's insane. Oh, and they got a level. Excellent. Well, um, before they get killed, I kind of want to take out the rest of these guys. Oh, we got our level. Well, there goes me. Shit. 75 damage. Wow. Candorus hits like a truck now. Okay, we're level 19. This is our final level. That's kind of sad. Um, We can't actually get any more dexterity. Yeah, we actually don't need any more dex. So... This is a throwaway point, I guess. That kind of sucks. More constitution, strength. Let's get strength. Persuasion and treat injury. This is our last feat, apparently. Make it a good one. I guess we go Master Flurry as our final feat. And we get a final power as well. And we can get first bridge. Hell yeah. So, we are fixed officially max level. That is pretty tasty. Here's our final statistics. Looks pretty good. Of course, I kind of wish I could get more strength in certain areas. Uh, I cannot, though. Okay, you have a level. He's actually looking pretty fine already. I don't think he needs anything else, truth be told. Like, what could he possibly use right now? Two-weapon fighting? Not really. I guess improved sniper shot. Maybe he'll get another feat, maybe he won't. Interesting. Well, wow. raw, new, and rejuvenated, and more powerful than before. And that's pretty tasty. Look at the sky. Look how lovely it is. You know what this place reminds me of? Kingdom Hearts. You ever play Kingdom Hearts? Reminds me of Destiny Islands of Kingdom Hearts. Just the way that it kind of feels. You know? It just has that feel about it. It's very atmospheric. Very luscious and beautiful. You know. Okay, um, I'm glad Candorus was shooting already. That's good. If he wasn't, we'd be, uh, shit. We are officially trapped. Okay, let's do that first. Um, how's the mission? She's actually pulling off her roam pretty well. Let me go. Okay, uh, Candorus needs some help as well. These people, no business. 
the captain's dead. I didn't even do it. I think that was bad. Where's my damage? There we go. Is that everybody? I think so. Mandalorian power shield. Pretty helpful. Pretty handy. The only thing that kind of sucks now is um we have no need for stores anymore because we're not going to be able to go back to Yavin any longer. But that's pretty cool. Mandalorian head with the assault armor. All that means is we can dress exactly like a Mandalorian now because of that. And that's pretty sick. How good is it, though? 13 with a plus zero dexterity bonus? It actually lowers Canaris's defense by one by giving him that. That kind of sucks, truth be told. 306, 270. It lowers his health substantially as well. I mean, it's cool, I guess, but, um, yeah, there's, there's not really any need for that now, is there? I suppose not. Let's go back to the ship real quick to rejuvenate all our HP and our force points, and then we'll head back. And the Mandalorians are taken care of. I don't think any Mandalorians spawn because we took care of them, right? No. Yeah, that wouldn't make any sense at all. I could see Lightcorn spawning more, perhaps, but... Not Mandalorians. Yeah, I see there's more Rancors up ahead. Eh, you don't need to fight them. We'll leave them to their vices. The South Beach. We still need to find some parts, I've noticed, for our ship. Speaking of ships. Okay, so it's booby-trapped. I get it. I understand. Maybe we should lead in with mission? Plasma vent. Wow, she can pick those up. That's crazy. Deadly plasma mines? Jeez. Did she seriously just run into that? Well, that does 70 damage. That's disgusting. It didn't make a noise though when it exploded, which is kind of funny. Is that all of them? Sure. I think so. Hmm, that's enough health for now. Chip parts. Cool. Is that all the ship parts we need? We just need the one? Perhaps. I think it is, too. I think we only needed the one. Wild rain course. Oh, I guess they got an upgrade. I gotta say, I definitely love Canaris's new gun. He definitely hits like a truck. I kind of wish M Mission's damage output was like disgusting, like everybody else's. I mean, my even my damage has become pretty disgusting. I mean, it's mostly because I have um. Beats to give me uh, more attacks per round, you know? Is there nothing over here? I mean, I see the Enclave clearly. I just want to make sure. For Hell's Mission? What are you doing over there? Interesting.
Well, that looks dangerous, doesn't it? Let's see if we can get in. You are not Rakata. What is your business here, Offworlder? Um, I, uh, technically I seek the Star Forge. You? Your Reven? Council wishes to speak with you. You may enter. Oh, well, it's good to know that they know who I am and they know who means business. We of the Elder Council did not expect to see you again, Revan. We had thought you betrayed us. Why have you returned to our village after all this time? Um. Uh. Look, how do I put this? Um, I'm not Revan anymore. Um. That part of me, if you can want to call it that, is now kind of extinguished and gone. Uh, it's a long story, I know, but um, just call me Squash. I'm Squash now. Your words are very confusing. We recognize you. You are the one called Revan. You are the one who came here before, you and Malik. The one who betrayed us. You promised to help us in exchange for our aid to swore to destroy the ancient evils of our Wakata ancestors. Are you saying this means nothing to you now? No, that's not what I mean. My mind was destroyed. I, I don't have many memories of that anymore. They're gone. Hmm. We do sense something different about you. Something has indeed changed. You are not the same as you were before. Perhaps your memory has been lost. Yet the power you wield, what you call the Force, is still within you. You can help us, Revan, even if we dare to trust you again. Okay, um, to be fair, this is a little overwhelming since I don't remember anything. If what you say is true, then that you cannot remember when you were last here, then you must know you have many questions. Ask what you will, Revan, and we will try to help you understand. Okay, um, who are you guys, for starters? We are the Elder's descendants of the Rakata priests who served during the days of the Infinite Empire over 20,000 of your galactic standard years ago. You met us the last time you came here. You arrived with Malik, your servant, three of your galactic standard years ago. We saw your ship plummet to the Earth, a victim of the disruptor field that guards this planet. This is Earth? You and Malik both survived the crash, though you were stranded here on our world. And in your search for a way off of this planet, you discovered our enclave just as you did this time. You used the force to draw the Rakata language from our minds, even as you planted basic into our skulls, so we could help you in your quest to escape this world. We helped you enter the Temple of the Ancients, you and Malik both, and you now, after all this time, you have returned with your minds wiped clean. Is there anything else you wish to know? This is Earth? Ha! Huh. I think he's kind of using it as like a manner of expression, perhaps? I don't think they're trying to actually say this is the planet called Earth, and if that is the true... If that's true, then that's pretty sick to think about, but it clearly isn't. But it's cool to think about. Um, do you get a lot of ships that crash because of this disruptor field that's here? Throughout the history of our worlds, many ships have fallen victim to the disruptor field. Most within the ships perish in the crash. Though some creatures do survive. That is how our great war beast you call Rancors came to this world. A few of the beasts survived the crash, and they were captured and trained by some of the more primitive Kata tribes. Ha. Huh. 
Is that the faction I fought? No, oh, there are many of Rakata on this world, though most are primitive and warlike, tribes descended from the lower castes of the Infinite Empire. The most powerful of all these is the tribe of the One. Many times the warriors of the One's tribes have attacked our compound, hoping to gain the knowledge we guard. But our technology is far superior to theirs, and their attacks have failed. And, um, your tribe? We are the elders descended from the priest caste of the Infinite Empire. We are the keepers of knowledge and the guardians of the Temple of the Ancients. During the collapse of the Rakata Empire, the warlords unleashed weapons of terrible destruction that threatened to drive our species to extinction. In the devastations aftermath, our ancestors locked the knowledge of the such technology away in the temple so it can never be used again. Ever since then, we elders have kept our vigil. Okay. Tell me more about the Temple of Ancients. <clears throat> Excuse me. There is little I can tell you about the temple. I know the secrets of our ancestors contained within, but the temple itself is barred to us. Only those who command the force can enter. Long ago, we Rakata had this power, but it has been since been lost to us. That is why we helped you the last time you were here, Revan, and you could enter the temple, but we cannot. Um, I also need some parts for my ship. It's uh, a little damaged. Even if you repair your ship, you will not be able to leave this world until you enter the temple and disable the disruptor field that caused you to crash in the first place. As for the parts you seek, that we cannot help you with. You might be able to salvage what you need from our world if you explore some of the crash sites on this world. But most of the wrecks are quickly raided and stripped by the more primitive and more like Rakata tribes. They, though they do not understand the technology, they hoard whatever they can carry. That sounds very, um, Jawa-like, you know? Jawas do that kind of thing. Um, so if I, uh, promise to help you again, um, would you help me? We trusted you once before, Revan, and then you betrayed us. It is it is true you can enter the temple and we cannot, but how can we trust you after the last time? Um Look, I I mean I'm the servant of the light now. I wasn't before, from what I understand, and I'd like to make some amends of mistakes I made for my past. You say you're not who you were once were, yet on our world you repeat the pattern of your last visit. Like the last time that you crashed here, like the last time you have come seeking our help. How, how have you changed, Revan? Look, okay, I get it. I mean, I, I cannot prove what is in my heart. Um, perhaps you can judge me based off of my actions. We sense you mean the words you speak, but the words you say are easy to say. It is actions that prove the true nature of your character. You must prove to us that you are not the same as you once were, Revan. You must prove that you have changed. Okay. So how does one do that? Recently, several of our scouts were captured by the One. Most of them were brutally slaughtered, but we have information that one of the scouts is still alive. They will use unimaginable tortures to force the scout to reveal everything he knows about our tribe, and once the One is done with him, the scout will be executed like the others. You must prove you have truly changed by risking your own life to save another. Rescue our scout from the clutches of the One, and we, and we will consider helping you. So, should I negotiate with the one to release your hostage, or take them out? I mean, we would prefer it if you could find some way to save the prisoner without bloodshed, but we don't believe that that would be possible. The one does not like negotiation. So if I save the prisoner, you help me then. Risking your life to save the person would show us that you are sincere about making amends for the past. Okay, sure. Um, right. I'll be back after I rescue the prisoner. The prisoner is being held in the chamber of the one himself. Return to us once he is free. Until then, 
you, until then, you have free run over our place. I can run around their place, yes? Okay. Well, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get any knowledge or anything here. I might be able to if I run around and explore this place a bit, but I think I want to do their objective first and then explore their place. On that note, um, I think this is a good spot where we can end today's episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. If you guys did, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think of today's episode. Um, if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe to me, MadSquash924. And don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my latest videos. And on the next episode, we are going to go work our way towards the base of the One, as he calls himself, apparently. And we'll take... I guess we'll take him out and all his people out and rescue the scout. That's the plan. Hope I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.